Hello YouTube, Empathy Relics here today, and today I've got a video showing you guys five try-hard search and destroy classes that I'd recommend uh, when in the game mode search and destroy. So um, these classes are for players who are above average, you know, who can hold their own in search and destroy, maybe more experienced and you know are, are good at the game mode and um, want to do well in. These are the, in my opinion, the five best classes that you can. Um, use in search and destroy obviously there are a few more classes that I could have added but um I'm just gonna keep it to five to keep the uh, video as short as possible so let's get into the first class so M8 um, E low sight as an optic that's just personal preference you can use a reflex if you find that more comfortable or any other ones of these I wouldn't recommend thermal but my personal preference is ELO, quick draw and stock. Now you can trade out uh, quick draw if you just feel like you don't need it and can just get use stock. But if you were going to do that, I'd recommend having a secondary. And then um, long barrel is also something that you could chuck on here. But um, I think that dead silence and awareness are kind of must run perks in search and destroy and blast suppressor as well. So when you have three in the same... Um, three in the same perk slot, it's kind of difficult to weigh up. Generally with Assault Rifles, since with Assault Rifles I'm going to be playing more passively, I like to run Awareness, just so I can hear if people are coming up behind me or whatnot, because I'm generally not going to be moving as much with an Assault Rifle, and uh, Dead Silence you just is kind of a must run. Um, I'd recommend permanently unlocking this if you haven't done so already, if you play Search and Destroy a fair amount. A uh, hardwired is also kind of a must run. It's not a definite must run, but I'd recommend it. So it, um, it makes you immune to um, the trip mines, the shock charges, C4s, and then reduces the uh, imprint of Tracker and Sixth Sense. Just a very useful perk, especially in Search and Destroy. And um, it is a must run. On uh, generally, I don't find fast hands to be useful in um, Search and Destroy on assault rifles so i'd like to run hardwired tracker is another good option but i just think hardwired is a better option and then flak jacket just to protect me from you know any nades or rcxds or hxds should i say um it's just a good perk it will save your life so um it's a good thing to have and frag grenade just personal preference i'm really good with frag grenades perhaps you're not and you might want to take a frag grenade off and maybe flak jacket then chuck on long barrel because um, long barrel is a great attachment or then maybe um have a secondary and another perk um so whatever you can mix that around a bit but that's the class i'd recommend uh, moving on xr2 second assault rifle class XR2 is another good assault rifle, very good for search and destroy, but you have to know how to use this weapon. It is a um, bit different to the M8 where you can't kill people at long range with this thing as well. So generally you want to use it for like the medi medium range engagements. So I got Reflex, again personal preference, could use ELO quite easily or any of the other optics. Um, but I've just gone for Reflex on the XR2. Quick draw and stock, pretty standard on assault rifles, especially on burst fire weapons, you do want stock, and uh, quick draw will definitely help as well. Frag grenade again, if you don't feel like you're good enough with frag grenades, just chuck on a secondary, you can't go wrong, any of these secondaries are good. And uh, flak jacket, hardwired, dead silence and awareness, pretty standard. Alright, let's get into the next class, VMP, quick draw, grip, dead silence, blast suppressor, fast hands, Black jacket, concussion, and frag. Now, concussions and frags are very, very useful in search and destroy if you know how to use them. I can guarantee that if you use your lethals and tacticals correctly, in this case, my frag grenade and concussion, you should be able to get at least one kill between both of them every single round of search and destroy. So, um, it's definitely worth the two points that it takes because you can concuss someone and then challenge him for an easy kill, or you can concuss them and then nade them and it's just very useful to have on some machine guns in general. A uh, flak jacket just to protect me because I'm not running hardwired so if there's any trip mines or C4s or anything like that I just want to be safe. Uh, so flak jacket is a good option. Afterburner is another good option if you really want to be flanking a lot but um, I just find flak jacket is more useful for my personal playstyle. Fast hands, you do want to run fast hands if you're running quick draw on your submachine guns very good perk, dead silence so people can't sound on me as well and blast suppressor 
If you're using a sub machine gun, you're generally going to be running around a lot, so make sure you have blast suppressor on. Um, moving on, Vespa class. This fucking gun is god tier if you know how to use it in search and destroy. So, um, quick draw grip on must runs. If you're not using quick draw or grip um, on the Vespa, you're using it wrong. You do need these two attachments. Extender mags, it's kind of optional in search and destroy. I'd still recommend it because. Although you might not think extended mags is necessary in search and destroy, generally I would never run extended mags on any other gun in um, S and D. But on the Vespa, it is kind of useful because if you come around the corner and you're in, there's two people there, it's going to be quite hard to kill those two people. You know, if they're s separated a little bit without extended mags, so it is going to save your life a little bit. Those extra uh, 12 bullets, I think it is, do help out a lot. So. But then again, it is optional. You might want to trade it out for another perk. Um, I've got a frag and concussions. Concussion is very useful for the Vespa because if you can cost someone, you can just challenge them. You know you're going to win that gunfight no matter what. Even if they're pre-aiming exactly where you're coming from, you pre-fire that with a Vespa, they got no chance. And frags, again, personal preference, but um, personally, I'd like using it. If you don't, maybe you want to run a secondary because the Vespa is a gun where swapping to your secondary can happen a lot, especially if you're not using extender mags. And uh, flak jacket, again, personal preference. Afterburner would be a good choice, but I wouldn't recommend afterburner if you're using dead silence instead of blast suppressor. You do need blast suppressor if you're going to be using afterburner. And then fast hands is kind of a must run on a Vespa. You're going to be up in people's face a lot, so fast hands just helps you um, get up, get your weapon up faster and um, win gunfights more easily. And dead silence, because you're going to be running around with this thing. So um, dead silence just helps out a lot so you don't get sound hoard. And final class. This class is something that I probably wouldn't use as much, but I can see this being useful. And I did think I needed a silenced weapon on here, because a lot of people run silencers in Search and Destroy, and there has been a buff to the silencers recently. So, um, Razorback with Quick Draw and Suppressor. I think Quick Draw is a necessity, especially if you're not going to use Fast Hands, which I'm not on this particular class, and Silencer to stay off the radar. If you're going to use Suppressor, on a submachine gun, definitely use it on the Razorback. It is pretty good on the Razorback. I feel like if you put Suppressor on the Cuda, it's too weak. The VMP, it still feels weak. The Weevil just makes it a sponge machine. The Vespa, you kind of need the other three attachments more, so unless you want to run a gun with four attachments, but then you're missing out on heaps of perks. The Pharaoh, it's okay with, but personally, I don't like the feel of it. Razorback's the way to go, and you know, I'm not saying you can't use it on any assault rifles, but I'd recommend it on some machine guns more, especially if you're going to be flanking. So Razorback's a good option. Um, Afterburner, again, optional. You could run Flak Jacket, you could run Six Sense, it's up to you. But Afterburner, if you're going to be flanking, you're going to want to be able to get across the map as quickly as you can. Afterburner helps with that. Um, Hardwired, just so you don't die to any bullshit trip mines or shock charges or whatever just helps you with that tracker so when you're in their spawn when you do finally flank you can see if there's any enemy footsteps around where you are it is good um tracker is a good perk to have while you're flanking but then again you could run um i don't think cold blood is that useful actually but you could run fast hands definitely and uh, dead silence and blast suppressor no awareness because if you're using awareness that means you'd have to get rid of blast suppressor or dead silence if you get rid of Blast Suppressor, there's no point using Afterburner, and if you get rid of Dead Silence, well, there's no point in rushing at all. So, they're my five classes. Um, another good weapon to use would be the Pharaoh, but unfortunately there's only five slots for in the private match, and um, I don't have everything unlocked to show you guys. But um, moving on to the specialists now, so... The best specialists for Search and Destroy are the non-lethal ones. Generally, you will only get a lethal specialist once per game, and that's if you're having a really good game. So, um, you know, it's it's not really worth running the lethal one. So, overdrive is useful. I I don't think it's that great. Like, it is kind of overrated, um, especially in the bigger maps, because you only get to the spots slightly faster. And if you use it on offense, it's you know, it, it's just it's not that great, and it can cause you a lot more deaths than what the other specialists would. So. Overdrive is good, but I wouldn't 
recommend it to use all the time. Vision Impulse, sorry, Vision Pulse is extremely good to use. Um, you know, you will probably get it if you get a fair amount of kills in a search and destroy game. So, uh, you know, you shouldn't have any problem getting it. It allows you to ping a part of the map. Very useful for search and destroy. Glitch, also very useful. If you're in a situation that you don't like, just glitch out of there. Um, it is a good specialist to run. Kinetic Armor is another good one to run. I use it all the time. It is awesome. Because um, if you're in a gunfight, if you're in a situation where you need to challenge someone, you know, you can just pop Kinetic Armor and you know you've got that extra protection. So uh, it's one of my personal favorites for Search and Destroy. I wouldn't recommend the Annihilator or Combat Focus. Um, the Hive is okay, but then you do have to get a few kills to get it. It's a lot easier to get than some of the other lethal ones, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, Rejack, not the greatest streak um, specialist to use, you know, because I think it counts as a death, and you do primarily see this being used in, in Search and Destroy, but I wouldn't recommend a good player using it. That's just my opinion. Um, Psychosis is extremely good if you're in a situation like you need to challenge the bomb site on defense or maybe um you know there's various situations and such that psychosis is very useful so um psychosis is probably the best in my opinion for search and destroy um and certainly one i use a fair bit the ripper is good personally i don't use it because i don't find the need to knife people and such you know i can kill them with my gun just fine so but um you, it does recharge quickly and you probably should be getting it twice per game so that's something to think about. Active camo is okay. It it would be more useful in search and destroy than a lot of other game modes, but I wouldn't overly recommend it. And then firebreak, the um, heat wave ability is okay, but there are better ones out there. So generally, you do want to stay away from the lethal ones because it is just too hard to get. Like a scythe, you could drop about 10 kills in search and probably still not get the scythe. So. Um, they're my recommendations. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, oh, I should probably show you guys score streak loadout. So if you're not an overly great player, you can't go wrong with that loadout. Make sure you always have UAV. UAV in Search and Destroy is the best score streak. You should be running it no matter what, even if you're a good player. Make sure you have UAV on. So if you're you know, not the greatest player at Search, but you can hold your own, that's a that's a good s score streak loadout. You can't go any lower. Um, and then sw swap it around. All of the score streaks really below Hardened Sentry are useful. I wouldn't recommend going above the Hardened Sentry. And I wouldn't wouldn't really recommend Hellstorm. At the moment I've been running this loadout. But then uh, if you wanted to trade up Care Package. Because if you're a rusher. Um, something like that is useful. All that. Um, I wouldn't recommend the Dart. Unless you're you know, fine with sitting at the back of the map for 30 seconds controlling it and the HCXC, same sort of thing, although it's definitely more useful than the dart, I just wouldn't recommend it. Guardian's okay as well, but um, generally, I'd go with that if you're using an AR, something like that, or that with a submachine gun. So uh, thanks guys so much for watching, uh, let me know if you want me to do any more of these videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video.